This is a CBS 2 News update. Hello, I'm Peter Dowd. Here's what's happening. Federal charges were filed today against the Iraq War veteran accused of killing five people and wounding six others at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Court documents show Esteban Santiago confessed to planning the attack and using a handgun that he legally checked in a bag before boarding a plane from Alaska to Florida. Investigators don't know why he chose his target, and they have not ruled out terrorism as a motive. There's been extra security at LAX and other airports across the country since yesterday's attack. Passengers may notice extra checkpoints and more armed officers on duty. The coroner confirms the body found yesterday in a La Cunata Flint Ridge parking structure is that of a missing music video director. Travis Peterson's body was found in a Volvo station wagon. Details on his cause of death have not been released. People in San Pedro are demanding increased police patrols in their neighborhoods. Community leaders in the LA Police Protective League rallied today. They blame a spike in violent crime on the lack of proper staffing. They also want their jail reopened so officers don't have to leave the area if they make an arrest. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a look at the weather. Hey Amber. Hi Peter. So we get a bit of a break right now from the system that brought us rain earlier today. It's shifting up to the north, bringing rain to the central coast and also to northern California. And that means tomorrow temperatures will be a little bit warmer and also drier. Low 70s for the coast in LA and Orange County Metro. Upper 60s for the beaches. And then once we head into Monday, that very same system that brought us rain today moves back down thanks to a cold front. So it will nudge more of that system back over to us. So that means more rain on on the way for Monday. A bit of a break on Tuesday, and then we're expecting unsettled weather from Wednesday on into the end of the week. And that's your CBSLA news update. Remember, we're always on. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11. And when you see news happening, share your story ideas, photos, and videos on social media with the hashtag CBSLA. And click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are.